Mississippi, the Edward Jones Dome in the distance, where the Rams have been a tough out the last few years, and they take the field to face the Bears. And here is the Edward Jones Dome, and the Rowdy Friends share allegiance. There are many Bears fans in the house, and they have been brought to their feet by that man very often. Devin Hester, four touchdown returns this season, and he is now the kickoff return man for the Bears as well. Chicago won the toss and will receive Jeff Wilkins to kick off for the Rams. Off we go from downtown St. Louis. Hester from the four. Will be stopped as he pushes forward to the 30-yard line. It was fascinating. He's searching for answers. Third and seven, Rams change the defensive look. Grossman looks at Will Witherspoon, cuts left, picks up the first down and more. Grossman scrambles to the 45, a pickup. Longest previous career run was eight. Pressured here, throws the screen to Jones, who's got room. Thomas Jones dancing into the secondary. Greasy breathing down his neck. He's almost desperate. Five DBs, third and ten. Grossman, the quick toss. Mark Bradley did not adjust to it. It's a 37-yard field goal attempt. And for the no-good second time this year. So the Chicago Bears come up without points. They've already won the North. They're in the playoffs at 10-2. Need a win to get a bye. And there you see New Orleans lurking. Meantime, the Rams trying to join Minnesota and Carolina at 6-7, a game out of the final NFC. Who are out with injury. And remember, Mike Brown, the starting strong safety, has been out since the Arizona game. Deep ball shot for Holt. Couldn't heal it. Pull it in. Keep an eye on what kind of pressure they get in the passing situation. Bolger got hit. Jackson dropped it. So that is two drops. Becomes important. Punting to Hester. Another skyscraper. 54-yard kick. Hester made the first man miss. Now in the clear. Devin Hester to the 36-yard line. 375 on the ground. Not a good number. Jason McKee, the fullback, came in motion. A first down Grossman throw is perfect on target in the middle to Bernard Second and six. Play action. Grossman is flushed by Leonard Little and throws incomplete. Bears with the three receivers. John Tate, the left tackle, injured earlier back in the game. Grossman is burying crossing through his hands and incomplete. So it's punt and use the Bears' strength defense. That means Maynard has to kick him inside the 10. Was it kept before it crossed the line? The player didn't go in the end zone, so it's legit. No touchback, and the Bears get the job done at the one. With a long field, Stephen Jackson on first down. And his coach, Scott Linehan, said, I love to see him take control as a leader. Quick shot, caught by Torrey Hope for the first down to the 19-yard line. After the first first down of the game for St. Louis, they take over from the 19. And Bolger, a first down throw to Hope. Working in front of Ricky Manning. Rams need to get to the 45. Only four rush. They peel in coverage. Down the seam for Curtis. He made the catch at the 26-yard line. First down. Like the Stanley Cup, right? Two terrific sports cities. Second quarter begins with second down. Bolger throws down the seam for Kloffenstein. Incomplete. What a play in the secondary by Chris Harris. The safety. 39 times. Infield goal range, third and nine. Bolger comes to his second low. Good grab by Curtis, diving forward a yard short. Bears the only team under 50% in allowing fourth and one conversions. But it's converted and then some by Stephen Davis to the one yard line. First and goal they have. Jackson, Erlacher, no game. And they spread out with three wides in the tight end, Joe. Isaac Bruce comes in motion, looking for Holt. It was covered, a double move. Holt makes the catch. Touchdown, St. Louis. And the penalty marker down as well. Let's go back to one thing here, Joe. The fact that they chose to go on fourth down. 
And you're talking about how Linehan's no longer the play caller. But he made that decision. Because he's the head coach. He said, I'll take that on my shoulders. And that results in a touchdown. Three plays later. Box snap. You can't score on it. So it will be no play here. The play is dead. This is not college football where you can score two points. Bolger was nearly spotless on the drive. Let's see what Devin Hester can do with his kick from the 10. Great free in the open. Devin Hester. Goodbye. A record fifth return for a touchdown. Oh. Let's see what he can do with the kickoff. How did you like what you just saw? They're going to go up 7-6. And Rex Grossman didn't even have to touch the ball. That's the way you protect Rex Grossman. 94 yards, as we said. Did you see who it was, homie? I said, did you see? That was, that was Hester. Yeah, no, that, that was Hester, 23, the rookie. So as I seen that, I knew he was going to react. I mean, I knew he was going to react. Okay, well, you got me, and I got all of you right here. <laughs> 99 yards later. Well, he has to play because of the injuries in the secondary, and now needs a chance to get a break here as Steven Jackson runs. Got a nice block from Isaac Bruce. Steven Jackson out of bounds. Bears bring five. Bolger has time. Isaac Bruce, the veteran, to the 31 yard line. First down. And mounting a second good drive on this very good defense. Bolger in rhythm. Bruce, 11 yard line. Bolger has hit eight of his last nine. Jackson saw Erlocker, goes the other way, and gets right near the three-yard line. Two for the touchdown. Run, Jackson, trying to bounce to the outside, got there, touchdown, St. Louis. He beat Charles Tillman to the corner, and the Rams respond. He's you playing more like conservative fan. right now. <laughs> Third down, and they run Ooh. with Jones right at the line. I'm going to stick with it. Fully brainwashed. Yes, I'm a bear man. <laughs> On first and ten here is Benson Ooh. running for about eight and a half yards. That's some money in my world. I mean, it's a little bit. <laughs> first down from midfield. Grossman, deep drop. Ooh. Deflected, brought in. Wow, he's, done. he's playing all right. He's settled down. Second and three. That. Benson into the waiting arms of the veteran Leroy Glover. Jones in the game, third down. Quick hit. Yes. Run in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Touchdown. Yes. I, whatever happened to no cheering in the press box with Belushi? Come on. Boy. <laughs> he settled down. You like that one, right? I like that. That is a case of Rex Grossman just <laughs> trusting the route because Fauquier Brown. From the 24, Bolger's first look wasn't there, and he's brought down by Adelario Gunlier. After the sack and out of the penalty in timeout, third and 14. Low snap, good catch by Bolger. Tried to just dump it to Stephen Davis, not St. Louis. So with 100 seconds left, each team has two timeouts. Again, pressure. Grossman, quick toss is caught. Berrien cannot get the first down. It's a great tackle. The punt was 29. The Rams are at their own 29. And on first down, out of the gun, they run Jackson into the secondary. Steven Jackson at the 44, and you can see. After the run of 15, Bolger right back to Jackson. Scott Lenihan's put the ball up almost as much as Mike Martz did when he was here a year ago. Second down, Bolger on the out, Bruce out of bounds, first down at the 23-yard line. This is what they did all the time. Hang on a second, guys, he's ruled that he was in, so they're going to start the clock here. How, how can he... Clock is running down to 22 I cannot seconds believe, left. I cannot believe that they ruled him inbounds. Bolger spikes in Linehan's right over there talking to the referee saying, one of you stopped it. He did. As I look at that, should have continued to run. They still have one timeout, 20 seconds. They had to burn it down. Bolger for Bruce. In a tight window, he almost brought it in. What a throw by Bolger. One timeout, 15 seconds in field goal range. Bolger pressured. Flag down. Ball down. Recovered by the Rams. And the most
most accurate is out of a job. Drifting right. Missed it. No good. Hunter Hillemeyer off the field. Devin Hester in. Five DBs for the Bears. Bolger swing out Jackson. Hester made the open field tackle. Now he's got to go back the other way for the punt return. Fourth down. Yes. We know. Thank you. <laughs> Second down, a throw. Grossman against the zone perfectly. That was a longer way to travel for him. Second and eight. Play action. Rex down the seam to Muhammad. Calls from everybody trying to make him better. Thomas Jones, first down run. Through the hole. Jones spins in the secondary. Brought down at the 30-yard line by Otogwe. Just a few yards away now is uh, the brother in Dallas, Julius, from having a 1,000 yards apiece. Quite a story for a couple of small-town kids from Virginia. There he is again. Thomas Jones. Delivers the blow to the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Moussa Muhammad, who was big on the drive, threw a block. Stephen Davis is in, in his stead. Davis had that big uh, fourth and one run in the second quarter. Quick shot to Torrey Holt. Ball comes down, incomplete pass. Scored on the last drive. Cedric Bench in the back to start this one. In the 26, a throw complete to Desmond Clark. Protect your quarterback. Adrian Peterson is the running back. And a screen to Peterson gets a first down and more. Adrian Peterson, not the Oklahoma Adrian Peterson, but he looks like him. There's been no Thomas Jones on this series. Peterson back in as the third down back on 35. And Grossman throwing for Muhammad. Musa Muhammad with the catch. Chicago touchdown. Sweet. Just a sweet draw. Bears fans being heard. Pressure coming. Bolger got rid of it quick. Colts could not hang on. $2 million by the Rams this year, but if you watch TV and you cover football, you see Marshall on the NFL Network in the studio this year doing a terrific job, I might add. Second in the yard. Grossman goes play action, gets it to McKee, the fullback. And Jason. Oh, my goodness. A helmet-knocking hit on Ty Hill at the 40-yard line, and Hill... All Bears here in this third quarter. And Benson. Second and 11. Grossman throwing for Berrien. Flag down, broken up by Ty Hill. Interfering defense, number 26. Ball will be placed in the spot of the foul. For everybody on defense. Power formation. Peterson easily into the end zone. Adrian Peterson's first touchdown of the season. He delivers on time to spit the ball out. Fourth down, Bolger to Stephen Davis. First down to the six-yard line. Trailing by 22. Flushed as Hillemeyer chases to the back for Torrey Holt. Hangs on that time for a Rams touchdown. Charles Tillman was not looking. Torrey Holt was. 35 to 20. Rams not out of it. Halfway through the fourth quarter here with a full complement of timeouts. And the hands team on for the Bears as uh, they are anticipating an onside kick from St. Louis. I would not kick it deep. Great chance for field position. Ten Bears up close here. And they do kick it deep. Back to Devin Hester at the five. Devin Hester with lanes thrown down because of the onside. Takes it 95 yards for his second kickoff return of the night. Touchdown. And an NFL record sixth return of the year. This one 96 yards. And he is unbelievable. Wow. Every time we watch him, he's wow. scored. Where do you kick it? You're going to have a significant number of teams in the league not have six returns for touchdown. Well, you're also, of all sorts, not just kicks. You also have to figure out how you want to deal. Bolts it to Kevin Curtis, who got lit up and held on to the ball. Flag down. Chris Harris with a hit.
Ron Rivera, to me, should be the number one candidate for a head coaching job next year. Poffin Stein, the tight end. First down. A lot of Arizona State fans are excited about that. With the weapons they have on offense to bring an offensive coach in is good. Jackson seeking the goal line gets in. Rams touchdown. Now the dilemma. Gonna have to kick off. Onside kick. Well, what if they put Hester up on the hands team? He's closer. Okay, so let's see what onside kick the Rams have here. This is their fourth onside kick of the season. Did it once last week against Arizona. Getting the big bounce is Wilkins. It's up in the air and caught by the Bears for Chicago. And it's one of the issues hanging out there for the Bears as they go through this season. Adrian Peterson carries to the 31 yard. Line. Robbie Gold tries a career long tying 49 yard field goal wide right. So Gold, who had missed. That's a must. They're run. probably looking the same place Indianapolis is looking and coming up empty. Second down. Bull just has deflected. Oh, Devin Hester almost had an interception. <laughs> He's had every other kind of return. There's a penalty marker down. And they've come in here and done a great job. Two of them at home. Bolger, Holt. What a catch, nice catch. by Tory Holt. Uh, First down. Wow. Guys, they've got, if they hit two big passes, they're still in this game. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. Bolger, sacked. Drop back long enough, they're going to get you. Mark Anderson, who had a penalty earlier. Steven Jackson, the catch, the first down at the 36 yard line. Great shots, guys. We got some tired puppies on the field. A lot of just sprint back to the line, sprint. Bolger completed to KJ Harris. Game that Bears fans from back then remember. Did you just do that off the top of your head? No, that's Steve Hurt. Okay. Ooh, there's so many great oh, stats for us. There's a turnover. Oh, there's, oh, they forced turnover. I mean, them turning the ball oh, over, okay. not at all. And there's the first turnover of the game. As Charles Tillman comes up with the pick. The fact stands as stated. The Bears scored touchdowns on six of their seven possessions. Lovey Smith returns to St. Louis where he was the defensive coordinator and takes his Bears to a first round bye. They joined San Diego at 11-2. Best records in the National Football League. If the Bears win and New Orleans loses next week, the road to the Super Bowl from the NFC goes through Chicago. Final score. Bears 42, Rams 27. We see you next week for Cincinnati and Indianapolis. Now for Susie Coffer, Michelle Tafoya, Joe Theismann, Tony Kornheiser, and the women and men of our Monday Night Football crew, Mike Tirico. Good night from St. Louis Sports Center. Seconds away.